Hello friends, how are you? In this video, we will talk about one sample sign test. The one sample sign test computes the statistical significant test of a hypothesized median value median A for a single data set. So for two tail test, the median the null hypothesis is the median value is equal to median A and alternative hypothesis the median value is not equal to median A. For left tail test, the Null hypothesis is the median value is equal to median A and alternative hypothesis is the median value is less than median A. And for right tail test, null hypothesis is the median value is equal to median A and alternative hypothesis is the median value is more than median A. Now steps of one sample sign test. Create a sign plus minus table. If the observed value is greater than the hypothesized median value median A, then put plus and if the observed value is smaller than and equal to hypothesized value, median A value, then put the minus sign. Add all the plus sign and minus sign denoted as S plus and N minus respectively. For two tail test, if S plus is equal to S minus, then do not reject the null hypothesis. For left tail test, if SN alpha is greater than S plus, then reject the null hypothesis. For right tail test, if SN alpha is greater than S minus, then reject the null hypothesis. Where SN alpha is the table value where alpha n is the number of data and alpha is the level of significance. Now example, can you say that the median value of the population data is less than 50? So here I hypothesize median value is 50 that is median A is 50. From the sample data, this is the single dimension data. So 10, 20, 90 and so on. Now apply left tail test. Why should you apply left tail test? Because the question is whether the population data is less than 50 or not. Hence, we have to apply left tail test. If the question is like that, population data is more than 50 or not, in that case, we have to apply right tail test. And if the question is, if the population data is same as 50 or not, that in that case, we have to use the two tail test. So here, the question is the population data is less than 50 or not. Hence, we have to apply the left tail test. And the null hypothesis is the median value is equal to 50 and alternative hypothesis, the median value is less than 50. Now, first of all, we have to create the this table, sign table. And here, already you know, if the value is less than or equal to 50, so we have to put the minus sign. And if it is more than 50, then we have to put the plus sign. So that 10 is less than or equal to 50, hence it is minus sign. 20 is less than or equal to 50, then it is minus sign. 90 is more than 50, hence it is plus sign. 60 is more than 50 hence it is plus sign, 58 is more than 50, it is 50, 50 is more than 50 hence it is plus, plus sign and so on. And total uh, plus sign here, total plus sign here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So total 9 plus are sign are there and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So total 7 minus sign are there. So here we have to apply left tail test. So we have to check whether it is SN alpha, SN alpha is greater than S plus or not. So total plus sign is what 9, hence S plus is what 9 and the table value S 16 comma 0 0.05 is 3. So here 16 is what total number of data. So 16 is what total number of data and here 16 is the total number of data and 0 0.05 is the level of significance. So level of significance is 5. So the answer is the table value is what 3. We know that if SN alpha is greater than S plus, then reject the null hypothesis, otherwise accept the null hypothesis. The table value, so this 3, is less than the 9. Okay, so the total plus sign, the 9, hence do not reject the null hypothesis. Now, these are the R lines, R implementation, through which we can implement on sample sign test. Now, another example. Can you say that the median value of the population data is more than 21 from the sample data? So these are the data 10, 22, 1, 11 and so on. Apply one sample sign test. So the null hypothesis the median value is equal to 21 and alternative hypothesis the median value is more than 21. Because here the question is whether population data is more than 21 or, or not. So here we have to apply the sign table. So 10 is, you can see here, the 10 is less than or equal to 21, hence it is minus. 22 is more than 21, hence it is plus. 1 is less than or equal to 21, hence it is minus. 11 is less than 21, hence it is minus. 28 is more than 21, hence it is plus. So total plus signs are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 plus are there. 
and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total 8 minus are there. So as we know the for right tail test, if S and alpha is greater than or equal to S minus, then reject the null hypothesis. So total minus sign. So here it should be, here it should be total minus sign is 6. Total minus signs is 8, sorry. So total minus sign is 8. Total minus sign is 8. That is S minus is equal to 8. The table value is S12. 14 so s 14 comma 0 0.05 is 2 so you can see here uh, you can see total number of data if total number of data here it is 14 okay and level of significance is 5 percent the table value is what it is 2 okay so the table value is 2 and here so the table value is 2 and we know that if the S in alpha is greater than or equal to S minus then reject the null hypothesis. So otherwise accept the null hypothesis since the table value it is 2 is less than S minus. Okay. So less than S minus 8 hence do not reject the null hypothesis. Okay. And that is the end of this video. Thank you very much. And in the next video we will talk about two sample scientists.